Well, welcome back to another video, guys. It's uh, first thing on a Saturday morning. It's starting to get to that pretty chilly stage of the year. It's uh, mid-April at the moment. And Tim and I, we've headed out to the Eastern Bay of Plenty, um, this time with a different objective in mind. Today, I'm gonna be doing some deep drops. So at the moment, I'm looking for some live baits um, and some fresh kahawai. And once I've got that, I'm gonna be shooting out wide, sitting in that sort of 70 to 100 meter zone today and just doing some deep drops with uh, ledger rigs and seeing what I can pull up. Tim, on the other hand, we've just uh, hooked him up with a live kahawai. He's rigged that up and he's heading out wide now at the moment. And he's gonna have his luck, on, uh, try his luck off a bit of live baiting today. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll uh, hopefully see you guys with a bit of fresh bait in a second. Oh yes, there we go. That's what we're after. Got myself a live bait, nice. Not the biggest live bait, but hey, it's a Jack Mac and that's gonna be perfect. Oh, straight on to another one, I think. Feels like we might have a few actually. Oh, that's something a little bigger. What have we got? One foul hook jack mac, that one's a little bigger, that's good. Looks like we've gone straight over a big school of them. There we go, get these guys in here. And out the back they go, woohoo! Those are going to be the perfect size little live baits for the, uh, for the ledger rig I reckon. Now I think we've got a seal up ahead playing around in the water. There's something big up there in the water, I can't really see what it is. Pretty sure it'll be a seal. No, not a seal, just a massive log. <laughs> wow, there was a big storm here uh, sort of earlier this week, so wow, that explains that. Hopefully there's some kahawai sitting underneath it. Almost at the uh, cape now and still haven't got myself some fresh bait so I brought a bit of bait with me but really would like a nice fresh kahawai to uh, chuck out on the hooks today. Okay so I've got off the cape and there are some massive workups up out here so should be able to snag a live bait or a kahawai fresh bait I should say out here hopefully because I still haven't got one. Feeling pretty hopeful, I can see lots of bait just on the surface up there, so should only be a matter of time before that lure starts screaming. There we go, <laughs> just like that. Now hopefully we can keep the hooks in this one. Perfect size kahawai for a bit of fresh bait. There we go, kahawai on board. Just hooked. Hopefully I can get this guy, put this guy out of its misery and then get another one. And just like that, we're hooked onto another one. There's hundreds, probably thousands of them out here chasing bait up on the surface. Pretty incredible. There we go. Now that would make a good kingfish live bait. Okay, fresh bait sorted so now we can start heading out a bit deeper putting some of these baits down and hopefully pulling up a big fish
channel. Have a bit of a sleep out. See my crew. I've seen your crew earlier than I've seen you. Have a channel if you want to make love. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so we're out at 89 meters now and i don't have any secret harpooker marks so i'm just sort of looking around and kind of hoping for the best this is the rig that i've used today it's a leg classic ledger rig except i've added a third hook on the bottom just a little circle hook and uh, i'm going to chuck one of these live baits on there i actually managed to get some of these guys some uh, sweep so i might just chuck one of these on to start us off with and see if that can get us a fish so just put a hook through its back there make sure there's no scales on on the hook get that in the water and now I'm going to go back over find a bit of sign and hopefully catch a fish well I'm hooked up first fish of the day feels pretty heavy There's a bit of weight to it, bro. Oh yeah, putting up a fight. I don't know. Oh shit, yeah, that's a good fish, bro. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Gotta pray it's not a shark. To be fair, it's probably a shark. Put up a little bit of a fight down the bottom. It's not really fighting. I reckon it's gonna be a shark. Just slowly and steadily coming up. Fingers crossed, bro. I don't wanna get too excited. I feel like if it was a pucker, it would have actually put up a fight, you know. This one did a few little runs down the bottom, but hasn't really put up a fight. And it's not floating up either. Yeah, remember I got a 500 gram sinker on the end though. Yeah, it's probably just like a 40 centimetre snapper, eh? Oh, here we go. What is it? Yeah, shark. Oh, terribly tangled shark as well. No wonder it was so hard to pull up. Thing's bloody wrapped around like 50 times. Oh, there goes my sinker. Gutted. Might just whip the whole thing on board. Yeah. It's a pretty decent shark. There we go, hook's out. Well, tail's unwrapped. Let's get this hook out. Shout it, bent the hook. There we go, hook's out. How's that for the first fish of the day? Big shark. Get this guy on his way anyway. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Damn. That was hectic. <laughs> Alright, we're hooked up to another fish. I think it's another shark to be honest, but only one way to find out. But there's more head nods than last time at least. Doesn't feel as heavy either. Yeah. 
Yep, shark. Bugger. Stop doing that, you're damaging my line. <laughs> That's my last sinker I need that, mate. Almost got its teeth into my leg just then. There we go. There we go. That's a way bigger run than what those sharks did. <laughs> Please don't be a shark. <laughs> That's some serious pulling power, man. The drag's done it pretty tight, eh? All right, well, we're hooked into a bit of a string puller, some serious weight behind this fish. Um, if it's a shark, it's going to be a really big one. Um, but let's hope it's not a shark, let's hope it's something else. It's just doing lots of like big, slow head nods now. And I feel like if it was a pucker, it wouldn't be doing that. But what do I know about catching pucker? <laughs> Nothing. Can't be far off now, surely. Oh, here we go. What is it? Oh, massive shark. Of course it is. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. All that effort, eh? Oh, I think that's a blue shark. That's a pretty mean shark. All right. Oh, he's hooked really well as well. It's probably gonna be quite hard to get this hook out. Oh, goodbye, big shark. <laughs> a lot of work bringing those things in, not much fun, but hopefully if we keep working hard, we'll be able to uh, get onto the target species. So the conditions got pretty hairy out wide um, and Tim and I decided to come back in and we've been doing a bit of soft baiting and I decided to drop down a uh, catchy catchy and I've hooked into a really nice fish. I'm thinking it's either going to be a kingy or a really big snapper. Well I can't tell at this stage. Probably going to be a kingfish to be honest. Whatever it is, there's a bit of weight behind it. My 
arms are still so sore from pulling in all those sharks this morning. Oh wow, it's a big snapper. I thought I was pretty certain that was going to be a kingy, but nah, it's a pretty monster sized snapper. Wow, that's incredible. Hopefully I can, uh, hopefully it can let out some of its air before I bring it on board. Be really good to release this one. Man, that put up a mean scrap. So here it is, really nice snapper on the 120 gram catchy catchy. Honestly, these jigs are just dynamite, eh? Work every single time pulling up marvelous fish like this. I'm gonna put this one back in the water because I would really like to be able to release it. Okay, so had a bit of a uh, slip up just then while well, I was trying to get the hooks out of Mr. Snappy here one of those catchy catchy hooks went straight through my leg so that wasn't much fun I managed to rip it out but um yeah very painful stuff anyway we got Mr. Snapper back in the water and uh he's kicking but he's quite bloated so I don't know if he's going to go back I um if he won't swim down by himself I might uh give him his ear bladder a puncture See if he can deflate some of that air and kick down because he's still well and truly kicking. It's just going to be a matter of getting that air out of him so he can go back. Alright, I might try and uh, see if I can give him a bit of a puncture, let out some of that air and hopefully then he'll swim back. So I might actually use one of these catchy catchy hooks. I left my bait needle at home so this might be the next best thing. Try and puncture that air bladder and then get them back, so let's give that a crack. Right, so giving him a bit of a puncture. Now let's see if he'll go down. Come on. There we go, released. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we've hooked into what feels like another really good fish. Gonna take this one, bring this one up much slower than that last one because I'd really like to uh, release everything today. Wow, this is feeling like another really good fish. Oh, 
two from two. What's he got for the third one? Oh, two from three. I got some this. Five. Oh no, so I think I just got five. Five. So day two of the trip. First day was pretty interesting. Some big sharks, big snapper and a hook through the leg. So great way to start the trip. Uh, but today, pretty much going to do the same, except hopefully with no hooks in the leg. Uh, I've already loaded up on uh, live baits and got a couple of kahawai for fresh bait. So we're looking pretty good. And now I'm heading out to uh, the Cape, going to drop these baits on some pins and hopefully pull up a big fish. Okay, so we're hooked up to the first fish of the day. Not sure what it is just yet, but could well be another shark. Yeah, as predicted, another big shark. There we go, released. Yeah, it's not much fun pulling up these sharks, I gotta say. <laughs> A mackerel's still there, but I think it's died of shock. <laughs> oh well, I'll rig up some new baits and uh, get back to it. Well, I thought I was snagged up just then, but as it turns out, there's actually a fish on the end of the line. And based on how things have gone so far this weekend, my money's this being on a, uh, well, my money's on this being another big shark. Whatever it is, it feels a lot bigger than that one I got before, so... Not really looking forward to getting this up next to the kayak. Ah! So it wasn't a shark, well it might have been a shark, but we've actually hooked something else. What have we got here? I believe that is a bastard cod. I may be wrong, but here it is. Big fat bastard cod. So I might take that actually. <laughs> it's a new species for the kayak, so pretty stoked about that. And uh, the conditions are starting to deteriorate out here, so I might actually uh, think about heading in shortly okay hooked up to a really good king i think it's got us down in the weeds though tim tim We're in super shallow reef here, yeah, we're in the weeds. Ah, oh, shit, he's got us right in the weeds. Tim! Bro! Oh, yeah, there we go, bust off. Damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, bugger, that was a really nice kingy. Damn. Completely bust off above the leader. Could see that coming. 30 pound, 30 pound braid. It's pretty much guaranteed to happen. I should have put my heavy setup on. That's what that's what you get. Okay guys, so a bit of an update. We went out wide this morning and did our deep drops for a hooker and whatever was else, else was out there. Um, didn't really have much luck. 
since then the weather's really turned nasty so we came back in and just off the cape I hooked into a really nice kingfish um, but unfortunately it busted me off I was on some really light gear but anyway the plan now is to get some more live baits the weather's too nasty to stay out wide but we're getting some more live baits at the moment and um, well, I've got a nice string of them here and we're probably gonna just muck around inside and um, see if we can get a nice kingy so I'll get these guys on board and then let's get back to it all right so we're just live baiting out of the cape and Tim's caught a pretty decent kingfish Oh, that's not a baddie. Epic, great stuff. Oh. Right, something's picked up the live bait. Pretty sure it's a snapper actually. Yeah, it feels like a snapper. Yep, it's a snapper. Pretty decent. Not not monstrous, but pretty good. So hoping this would be a kingy. There we go. And look at that. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth there. Perfect hook up. So I can pop that out. There we go, circle hooks out. And this fish is going on its way. There we go. Alright, luckily I've got a few live baits, so I'm going to put another one out and hopefully get into one of those kingies that keeps busting me off. <laughs> yeah, I definitely brought a knife to this gunfight, but hey, lesson learned. That pretty much wrapped it up for this trip. We head back in as we ran out of daylight, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.